now on the left you should be seeing the end of the outdoor <laughs> play area and on the right the end of the tiger enclosure and the beginning of the car park. Now the first animals we're going to be seeing will be on the left hand side in the paddocks of the children's farm. So if we look to the left now, you can just see in the distance there uh, a couple of honey coloured ponies. Those are our Shetland ponies. We have a male and a female, Bianca and Chica. Also see some miniature zebu cows from uh, Southeast Asia. Now in the distance there, the red roofs of the children's farm, the only place where you can touch the animals. So if you fancy tickling a turkey or packing a pony, that's the place to go. Right, we're heading over the road and into the engine yard. This is where our engine spends the night and it's got ready in the morning. And it took Mark and Martin three hours this morning to get our engine up and running. As it's a steam engine, of course, you can't just jump aboard, turn the key and expect to roar out the station. You have to do lots of preparation work to build up a good head of steam. And part of that preparation involves this large pile of Welsh coal we're passing at the moment. Now on the left hand side, you may also see beyond the pile of coal, some small blue buckets full of coal. It takes uh, several of those and a whole wheelbarrow yeah. full of wood to get steamed up first thing. And you then waving, Jack? job ease the fireman to Jack, you waving? To further buckets you waving? of coal into the firebox. So let's hope he's feeling strong today. Let's see your muscles parting. Whoa, definitely. The man for the job. Now on the left hand side here, this cream and green hut here is a genuine vintage signal hut. And we are being pulled along by a genuine vintage steam engine. Her name is Excelsior. And wait for it. She is a whopping 111 years old. Woo! Now on the left here, we've been passing a very special diesel engine. You're on video, you can't do burps. That's a foul and narrow gauge diesel engine. There are only four in the whole of Europe. And uh, we have two of them here at Wimsay. So if you are a railway fan, you should be in vintage railway heaven right now. We are now moving out of the engine yard and into the Asian section of the park. You may also be aware that we have quite a number of free roaming animals here at Whipsnake. One of them uh, is our wallabies. You can see one in the distance on the left hand side here. They are uh, small kangaroo like creatures. And uh, like many Australian animals, they are marsupial animals, which means they bring up their young in external pouches. So it's always worth having a look around their tummies. You never know when you might see a little joey popping its head out to save the day. But on the right, a bit more exciting than a wallaby, we have our big male Asian elephant. This is Emmett here on the right with the big visible tusks giving himself a bit of a sand bath as well as tucking into his teeth. Now he is our breeding male. He's been a dad ten times here at Whipsnake. He is the father of our three youngest elephants. He's 28 years old. And next door to him is his young son Sam. You can see Sam has got the big lovely tusks as well. Uh, in Asian elephants it's the males that have the visible tusks. Females do have them, but uh, they don't appear out of the mouth. They're much smaller and they're called tushies. So Sam is uh, reaching up to the hay net. So peeing above your head is a classic uh, position for elephants. Now on the left hand side, you'll notice uh, small rabbity looking animals that look a bit like rabbits on stilts. Those are the free roaming Mara. You've probably seen them. They're in the same family as the capybara, you might be more familiar with. Just a word of warning.
thing about the Mara, though, if you do encounter Jack. them in the park, Jack. they have a... Just watch out, Jack, don't get me. too close to them because they have a slightly alarming habit Jack. of weeing backwards on you. <laughs> now the wallabies do like to hide amongst the thistles and nettles and tall grasses, so uh, we are uh, passing on the right a bit of a wild patch, so well worth having a look in there to see if you can see any more wallabies.
standing up, you can see some shaggy looking cows. Those are the yak. They come from the uh, high Asian plateaus where they're often domesticated and used as black pack animals. So next time you're planning an assault on Mount Everest, you might put your backpack on a yak. Right, we are now heading towards our tunnel. Can I remind everyone to remain seated, please? It is going to be a little bit narrow in there, so if you have young children with you, please make sure that uh, their bottoms are on the seats and they are well away from the sides of the carriage. It's going to get a little bit steamy in there. Oh, a bit smoky. See you on the other side. Also on the right you can just see our ostriches. The male is the one with the dark plumage, the female is the one with the grey. the London or Whipsnake Zoo to look after. Alright, we are coming back into the station. I hope you've enjoyed your ride on the Jumbo Express. Please remain seated until the train comes to a full stop. And do wait for our platform staff to open the doors for you. We'd also be extremely grateful if you would take any rubbish that you have with you off the train and put it in the bins on the platform. And if you have young children with you, please be aware there is quite a large gap between the carriage and the platform. So as they say on the London Underground, mind the gap. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I hope you're having a great day here. Just to let you know, the zoo will be closing at 6 o'clock today.